hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this simple tutorial i'm going to show you how you can display preloaders to the users using the fetch api so in the previous tutorial or one of the tutorials i've ever made on this channel the one popping up on your screen i showed you how you can achieve this using jquery so the before send function or method and the complete so before send you it's where you'll be displaying the preloaders to the user then when it's complete you hide that preloader that means the server has responded back with some data so what i have here right now i played around with the wordpress api to fetch these posts so the titles are from wordpress but the images i'm just using press holder images so for the case of copyright so these images are free to be used but these titles are from a wordpress site let me show you the simple code here so as you can see here i'm making a request to this website ugandafilmtalks.com and i'm using the endpoints for wordpress the api endpoints and here i have this function of generate html and it's the one outputting all these titles and images that you're seeing so let's say we go to page two so here in the request where you're seeing page equals one I can say page equals two that's that means i'm on page two and in the browser wordpress will take us to the next page as you can see it puts a white screen so the user may not even know that something is happening so putting preloaders on your page it's an indicator to the user that you have requested for something and it's taking some little bit of time to arrive so they will be seeing that preloader running so here we are on page two so it's like a pagination it's a page three save and here it's fetching on all those titles from the wordpress api so now what i'm going to do is fixing those preloaders or the preloader and i, I happen to use materialize css let me go back and put it to page one save that and we are back on page one so we are using fetch now here in my markup i have a simple div i gave it a class the parent div i gave it an id sorry of loader and inside here i'm having a materialized preloader let me show you how it looks like so in my style.css i displayed it to none so let me first comment out this and this is what we are having we are having an indeterminate preloader or progress bar so we just give the parent div a class of progress and the inner div you give it indeterminate and you'll be seeing this this is a common preloader on like google products so android phones stuff like that so we are having that indeterminate preloader or progress bar running so that's what we are going to be displaying to the user before them getting the data back from the server so this is the simple code to have this code on your website but just make sure you have materialized css and js running on your website you can use images spinners so any type of preloader that you want to display to the users this will work so long as you display it to the user before getting the data and hide it when the data as successfully loaded in the browser so in my style.css as you can see here to hide that i just gave the parent div which is having the id of loader to display none and here i said loader.show so this is the class where it will be display block then when you display something like block on the web page it is displayed so when it displayed none it is hidden block they reveal it or show it to the user so right now we are going to use this class to hide and show that preloader so we show it when they are requesting and hide it when the request is done so the logic is going to be in our app.js file so i'm going to get access to this div element so this remember here in css we are appending this class to it so we are going to say const loader div and I assign it to document. I want to use element by ID. You can use query selector. Get element by ID. And it's having the ID of loader. 
So this is the ID that we are targeting. This, the one you're seeing here. So since we have that, let us create two functions. One function is going to be, let's say, show loader. That's what I'm going to call it. You can call it anything that you want. So I'm going to call it show loader. And I'm going to say loader div. So this variable. And I say dot class list dot add. And I'm going to add the class of show. So remember, this is the this function is going to be showing the loader to the user. And this is what I'm doing. I'm saying if they call this class of show loader, we are adding a div like the class to this element of show, the loader dot show, and it will be having display block. So that's for showing the loader. Then we create another function here, and I say remove or hide loader you can say hide loader hide loader and here it's very simple we say loader div dot class list dot remove and we want to remove that class of show so 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 that is no longer displayed to block so here we are going to say remove show so we have these two functions but they are not doing anything on the web page right now so what we are going to do is pass them into this function where it's supposed to be shown so this is what's going to be happening in this function so we say get posts so the moment you call this function fetch is going to make a request to this url so for us what we want is when never like when the person makes or a web page makes a request to this url we want to display that loader so we are going to get our function here show loader and replace it before the fetch request so when they call this function it will show the loader make its way down so when it reaches this point our like data will be back from the server so this is the right place to hide the preloader so we get this function here and replace it here so this is what it's doing they make a request the server responds back with some JSON data. When it responds back with some JSON data, then here they give us the real data. So that's when we have to hide the loader from the user. So these are the two important areas, as you can see. Let me first hide that. So here, when the web page makes a request, we be showing the, as the web page is making a request, we be showing this preloader. When the data is back from the server, we hide that preloader so let me go to a brand new page that has not been cached we say page five because i know they have that page on the website you're gonna film talks save and here as you can see it's taking time when they get the data they hide that preloader so here we show the loader when we get the data we hide the loader i guess you guys are not confused and you're really picking up what I'm saying. So we go to page nine, save. As you can see, they are making a request. When the request is done, we hide the loader. So that's how easily you can display these preloaders to the users using fetch. In the first tutorial, I showed you using jQuery where we use the before send function and the complete function. So in the before send is where you put the loader. When the request is complete, you hide that loader in the complete function so as you can see it's very very simple guys we are just having a simple div of loader and inside we have a materialized progress like bar of indeterminate and here in our style.css we are just hiding the entire loader like we are hiding this entire div elements so that is having this parent div with the id of loader we are just displaying it to none but here we are saying loader.show when they had that class of show on that element we display it to block so we show it to the user else when, once the re request is done we remove that class of show and it goes back to display none and they had that loader from the user so this is what these two functions are doing when we make a request we show when the request is done we hide. Let's go back to page one.
so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if so please subscribe to the channel and i'll be seeing you in the next tutorial peace